Labels help to organize forms a lot, but we can do better. Sometimes certain form controls belong together in a logical grouping. For example, if our sign-up form included a physical mailing address, we would want to make sure all of that data was visually grouped together. In our case, we want to make two groups, one for basic information and one for the information that will show up on a user's profile after they've logged into our imaginary app. We can do that by wrapping our form controls in the field set element. So let's try that out. Just after the h1, I'm going to type a field set element, and it will automatically close, but I don't want it to close right there. I actually want to wrap all of these form elements in a field set. So I'm going to highlight all of those and indent them. And then I want to add a second field set, and I'll move the closing tag just after our text area. And I'll indent that as well. We'll leave the button outside of any kind of field sets, but all of our other form controls will be inside one of these two field sets. So let's save that out, switch back to the preview, and refresh. And as you can see, there's now some slight spacing and some padding and margin adjustments that have been made based on our field sets that we added. These two field sets created logical groupings, but it would be nice to label them. We can do this using the legend element. So let's try that out. I'm going to switch over to my workspace here. And just after my field set, but just before the first label element, I'm going to type the legend tag. And inside of that, I'm going to say your basic info. Now, I also want to number each one of these sections as if they were steps in a process. So I'm going to add a span element just like that, and I'm going to give it the class number, because inside of our CSS, there is a number class that will style whatever is inside of the span very nicely. So I'm going to say this is step one, and then I'll have a space just after my span, and then I'll say your basic info, and all of that should go inside of this legend. So let's copy this line, and let's add it to our other field set, and then adjust what's inside. So this will be step two, and we'll say your profile. So let's save that out, switch back to the browser, and refresh the page. And as you can see, we now have these nice legends that are labeling each one of our field sets. So we have your basic info, and then your profile. So that's great. Our form looks a lot more organized now, and we're ready to add more controls. When we add form controls from now on, we'll make sure to label them as we go.